This video is looking at exam techniques and it's about how to utilise perusal time. What is perusal? Perusal is a short amount of time at the beginning of an exam. It's usually about 10 minutes, but it might be shorter for a shorter exam. This is when you're allowed to read the questions and to think about your answers. You're not allowed to start answering questions during perusal time and you may or may not be allowed to write. Sometimes you'll be allowed to make annotations on the questions but not write any answers. Sometimes you'll be allowed to write on maybe a planning sheet but not on the test paper. Sometimes you won't be allowed to write but you'll be allowed highlighters. Sometimes you won't be allowed to write at all. You need to be guided by the instructions from the supervisor and on the instruction sheet on the exam. What should you do in perusal? It's important that you read the instructions carefully and then that you read all of the questions in the paper carefully and look at any diagrams or graphs. Make sure you look at the key words. Particularly, you want to look at the verbs and you want to look at any content words which will indicate how you should answer. We'll look more at that in a moment. You need to consider the difficulty of the questions. This might be indicated if they're given a number of stars or if they're labelled C level, B level, A level or if it's a multiple choice exam it might be one mark for each question or it might be different amounts of marks for different questions for a short response however it is for that particular exam you need to consider the difficulty of the questions because that will let you consider the time allocation so that when you read through all of the questions you can consider oh I know I need to be up to this point by halfway or however you're planning your time make sure that you need time that you leave time at the end where you can go back and review your answers Consider the order that you'll attempt questions in. Some, in. some exams will instruct you to work through them in order. Some will let you work through the questions in whatever order you feel like. Some people just like to do the ones that they want to do first. Some people like to try the harder ones first. Some people like to do some of the easy ones to get their confidence up. Have a bit of a play around with different techniques and get to know which you think would, would be best for that particular exam. Which questions or parts are compulsory? Are there any questions where you're given a choice to do this one or that one? If that's the case, then decide which question, you, which option you're going to attempt. If I was looking at this question in perusal, this is the way that I'd approach it. So firstly, I'd read the question. Plants which are found near the forest floor of a rainforest usually have leaves which are very dark green in colour. In contrast, plants which are found in areas with lots of light, for example grass on the oval, are usually light green in colour. Using your understanding of chloroplasts and the process of photosynthesis, explain how the dark green colour indicates an adaptation of rainforest plants. Okay, so I've read through that and then I'm going to take in the other information so I can see it's a B level question. So that gives me an idea as to what level of answer that it's looking for and I will also note that I've got a picture here of rainforest plants so the picture along with all of this information here is some of the stimulus information so that's there to help guide my answer so that I know what I'm talking about this is the part of the question that actually tells me what to do so I'll see here it says using your understanding of chloroplasts and the process of photosynthesis explain how the dark green colour indicates an adaptation of the rainforest plants. So the information that I'm given here, I'm being asked to explain. That's the key verb that I need to look at. So I need to ensure that my answer is that it's an explanation. It's not asking for analysis it's not asking for any for anything else but explanation and so that's what I need to look at it's asking me to talk about the adaptations with reference to chloroplasts and photosynthesis so in order to answer this question I need to know what an adaptation is so in perusal that's the sort of stuff that I think about I don't go and start working out my answer I just read the information read the stimulus information, look what the key verb is, and then make notes of what I need to know to do that question, chloroplasts, photosynthesis, and then talking about the adaptation, so that when I come back to the question to actually answer it, I've already deconstructed the question a bit.
In summary, perusal is not time to do the exam questions, but it's time where you can effectively plan your approach to the rest of the exam.